to think things through here. And he lands a nice uppercut as Velez tried to get aggressive, and he's paying the price here in the sixth round. Nice. This is boxing. It's a little chill here in StubHub. And let me tell you something. It's going to get warm real quick. <laughs> Jason Velez, not a bounce, it's going to be a, really a... Ryan Garcia, he said, I want to do things to him in the ring that he has not deep. I want him to think. And Ryan Garcia says, don't worry, I'll make my adjustments as the fight progresses. Move. He wants to stay close, and he wants to keep the pressure on. You look at the predictions from Ryan Garcia, now he's got to make a true prospect. Protect himself. He will get countered because in just in the right distance to get a punch off, whether it's right hand, left hand, and he's staying close to be able to do that. Boxing addict. That would make Valez durable here early on in the front of He's got Frida Kahlo. Garcia. Ryan Garcia connects with a nice left and right. You see the leg. Goes on in round. What he wants to do is bring Ryan Garcia to these fighters know how they gotta win this fight and also uh, establish that now. Hoping that Garcia get frustrated get tired. Left hand there from Jason. More combinations, these one see Ryan put three, four at a time. On an angle, not to see it has to figure out with that right uppercut that nice. I mentioned. Says, go a little weak, and here comes Ryan Garcia. He said before, four. You know what it is, shot. Tell him what that win just as bad as they win at the first one. And so does Velez. Is is the more experienced fighter. Ryan Garcia was supposed to be on the Canelo Triple G undercard. Fortunately for us, that fight did not happen. And this is the hottest thing since sliced bread in terms of young prospects. But this was what we see Garcia that because he's been in that situation. And that's an observation of Ryan Garcia as he lands two overhands right. Big a quick knockout here in his 15th pro bout. Experience and experience will go a long way, way past this fight. One punch, I think he should. But it's also the fight that Jason Velez envisioned. I mean, it's right. actually very even when you look at the numbers. Velez and beat him to the punch. It's to think things through here. And he lands a nice uppercut as Velez tried to get aggressive and he's paying the price here in the sixth round. Nice left hook from Ryan Garcia who starts to unload his. But he got to press forward and do something different, or he's going to be uh, uh, like right. he's get picked off before he can get a punch off. Center in the corner, super bien. That's what he's supposed to say. He's good. He corner did a good job in terms of that, but there's that overhand right that once again finds a home behind the Ibelez. Holding up so far behind. Yes, holds it up, but it's his face. And Valens walk in like he's going now. Got you with the right hand coming in. And the forward before he goes back to the night. Nice left hook there from Jason Velez as the fight to impress him. Not so much a scar, but with maybe another right uppercut. Because you see, when you were a champion defending the world title 20 times as a middleweight, this is what you did. What's it like when you succeed in doing what you have to deal with? As Velez said, I'm conditioned for you. The percentage at 28, he's got some. He jumps from this hit me with a. 10 seconds off the mouth. fight this evening. What I like about Velez, he continue to come forward. You know, he's not as talented all-around fighter and prospect as Garcia, but I'm still with him. Velez is coming up from Oh, big booties! This is the 10th and final thing put in on workman-like evening. He takes a nice and one shot for the change of We're in overalls, and when I went into the locker room to talk to him, I said, hey, you your lunch pail too? He said, I did, because this is a tough fight. I know what I have. You know what? Jason Velez proved that you've got power, but I can take your shots so far. It's different. And he, that's how he gets to prove who he is. Ryan Garcia, a twist to come to Hello. <laughs> the businessman, Bernard Hopkins, as this fight comes to an end. All three judges see it the same. 99-91 for your winner by unanimous decision.
He is now the undefeated NABO, NABF Super Featherweight Champion from Victorville, California. The Flash, Ryan Garcia! What's it been like for Jason Butler?